Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. Thank you for watching my series of videos on SL500 R129. Today I'm going to tackle a new issue, hopefully. So my SL500 R129 M119 engine, as you can see, have this issue that has lots of hesitation and kind of misfiring. So today I'm going to test my fuel pump to see if it has the right pressure or not. So all we need to do is just hook up a fuel gauge and read the numbers. So it only takes a few seconds. I've got my fuel gauge ready. It's a very cheap Chinese fuel gauge, nothing special, just like uh, 30 bucks from eBay. So you need to take off this cap on the fuel rail here and then hook up this connector according to Mercedes I need 36 psi So I'm pretty sure you have noticed the issue. The overcranking issue is caused by the fuel pressure build up slowly and gradually, not rapidly as it should. I've got about 56 psi at the moment and the engine is running great. Coolant temperature is 80 degrees, it's 10 minutes and the RPM is steady and the engine is working perfectly yet. So I just shut off the engine and it immediately dropped to about 49 psi. Let's see in an hour time how much fuel pressure I will lose. Okay guys, this is almost 45 minutes later and I still got about 55 psi. Pressure hasn't dropped even 1 psi. And even uh, it has increased because of the probably the heat of the engine. Okay, let's compare this to my CLK320 W209 Mercedes, which is a six cylinder. I already had fuel pressure in there, but when I'm thinking back with my R129, it had no fuel pressure inside the fuel rail. This one had a little bit still left after about, I would say, three, four days of not being started. Fishing on. After engine shut off so it should maintain more than 36 psi after an hour so let's see so we are still looking at about 58 psi after lapse of half an hour or something like that which is good I'm pretty sure this fuel regulator and fuel system is healthy I cannot check the fuel regulator on this one because it's not a vacuum based on the fuel rail kind of regulator the regulator on these 
CLKs, W209s are on the fuel filter itself. My fuel pressure regulator doesn't leak any petrol and I've got 65 psi and then when I put the uh, fuel pressure vacuum line back I get about 55 psi which is the correct amount um, and it hasn't dropped so it's a good sign I would say my injectors are healthy and my uh, regulator is healthy and my fuel pump is healthy so I can move on from the fuel system into electrical system in next videos thank you so much for watching this video I finished this video for now and I will update you later about the electrical system on my M119 engine SL500 have a good day and bye